Unwelcome but expected, the coronavirus has hit the UK. There have now been four deaths from coronavirus in the UK. The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. Welcome back to Downing Street for an update on coronavirus. Coronavirus, the most vicious threat this country has faced in my lifetime. The time has now come for us all to do more. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. The number of deaths is up by 20% over the last week and will sadly rise further. My thoughts are with all those who've lost loved ones. But I must stress that to control the virus, everyone needs to stay alert, act responsibly, strictly observe social distancing rules and stay two metres apart from those you do not live with. We would now advise people to wear a cloth face covering in enclosed spaces where social distancing is not always possible and you're more likely to come in contact with people you don't normally meet. The reason is face coverings can help to protect each other and reduce the spread of the disease, particularly if you have coronavirus-like symptoms. I want people to, to go back to work as, as, as carefully as possible. I think we need, it's very important that people should be, um, you know, going back to work if they can now. I think everybody's sort of taking the stay at home if, if, if you can. I think we should now sort of say, well, go back to work if you can. Because I think it's very important that people should, should try to lead, lead their lives more normally. In England, we must therefore go into a national lockdown which is tough enough to contain this variant. That means the government is once again instructing you to stay at home. The whole United Kingdom has been engaged in a great national effort to fight COVID. And there's no doubt that in fighting the old variant of the virus, our collective efforts were working and would have continued to work. But we now have a new variant of the virus and it's been both frustrating and alarming to see the speed with which the new variant is spreading. We've tried to update you as soon as possible about changes in the scientific data or the analysis. And so I must tell you this afternoon that we've been informed today that in addition to spreading more quickly, it also now appears that there is some evidence that the new variant, the variant that was first identified in London and the Southeast, may be associated with a higher degree of mortality. It's largely the impact of this new variant that means the NHS is under such intense pressure, with another 40,261 positive cases since yesterday. We have 38,562 COVID patients now in hospital, and that's 78% higher than the first peak in, uh, in April. And tragically, there have been a further 1,401 deaths. So it's more important than ever that we all remain vigilant in following the rules and that we stay at home, protect the NHS and thereby save lives. I also want to answer a key question that I know will be uppermost in your minds. All current evidence continues to show that both the vaccines we're currently using remain effective both against the old variant and this new variant of your efforts that I can confirm today that we've met our four tests for further easing the lockdown in England. This unlocking amounts to a very considerable step on the road back to normality 
and I am confident that we will be able to go further.